To begin, let's look at the main issues or reasons for poor internal communication inside a team or corporation. Disruption of information Internal communication in the workplace is, quite possibly, the only realm of existence where we require more communication. While everyone is busy performing their tasks, information inadvertently seeps through the gaps and does not get shared internally, which has a detrimental impact on productivity. Managerial Conflicts Even if there are only two individuals involved in a direct conflict, it will have an impact on the company's processes and cause the whole process to come to a halt. Remote Work – Lack of Physical Interaction Many successful working groups operate remotely, but this isn't something that can work for everyone. Office groups The anthropological truth is that people identify more strongly with the group to which they belong. If a person is only concerned with her own department, he or she will be unable to interact successfully with others. Stereotyping You've undoubtedly heard stories about how developers are introverted individuals that are only interested in their code, the next software update, or the Apple Developer Conference. You might even witness stories about designers who are too alternative and laid back talking about their artisan flat white coffees in the kitchen. When you hear these stereotypes and witness it to a minor degree, if you share different interests and values, it will naturally make synergy difficult as there is no mutual ground to connect on. These are some of the most frequent problems seen in today's organizations. Company management must find a solution to prevent and manage such issues in the future, otherwise they may develop into a major problem that would slow down the company's operations. Ethical Best Practices when you're getting started planning interdepartmental cooperation opportunities for your company, make sure to keep ethical communication best practices in mind. Rather than assuming that everyone is familiar with the accepted standards, a refresher course is a smart idea. An important aspect of ethical communication is a culture of respect. You and your team members should not take that to imply that there will be no conflict. Rather, team members avoid personal attacks in favor of constructive communication when there is a company culture of respect. Misunderstandings are unavoidable, but when everyone is dedicated to ethical communication standards, tense conversations will not lead to a breakdown in communications. Best practices and collaboration skills enable team members from various departments to interact with one another in an effective way for maximum results. It's critical to define the precise roles and responsibilities of each team member in order to be as productive as possible and communicate effectively. After that, everyone's roles and responsibilities should be clarified. All team members should understand the organization's major objectives and how their team contributes to achieving them. Employees must understand how collaboration benefits everyone if they are going to prioritize group goals ahead of personal contentment. Being aware of both verbal and non-verbal signals is another ethical communication best practice. For example, if one department consistently ignores emails and memoranda from another, there will almost certainly be a problem. Forgiveness is also critical because keeping a grudge may put a damper on future cooperation. Tools for enhancing communication whether you're working together in the same location or remotely, you need digital communication tools such as instant messaging and video conferencing. Here are some resources for your digital needs. In the world of agile project management, Asana is a mobile app that allows teams to keep track of and manage their work. Slack, a messaging portal that allows employees to communicate as a group or one-to-one. -one. Zoom is a simple-to-use video and audio conferencing platform. Google Drive allows team members to share files by giving everyone access. While these tools can assist with better communication, it's crucial to keep in mind that the key to improving interdepartmental interactions is a climate of trust and respect that you can create as an HR manager. Strong interdepartmental communication is required for growth and success in a business, from organizing your recruiting procedure to improving employee morale. 
What methods do you have for fixing interdepartmental communication issues? Let us know in the comments below.